Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss when is culpable homicide not murder. In my previous video, I have discussed both the terms namely culpable homicide and murder in detail. So in this video, I will discuss when culpable homicide is not murder. There are five exceptions that explain that culpable homicide is not murder. Let's check out those five exceptions with suitable examples. Exception 1. Culpable homicide is not murder if the offender whistle deprived of the power of self-control by grave and sudden provocation causes the death of the person who gave the provocation or causes the death of any other person by mistake or accident. Let's understand it with an example. Mr. A was in love with Miss G, who is sister of Mr. Y. Y came to know about it and met with A. Y asked A, Will you marry with my sister? A refuses and also abuses Y and his sister both badly. Y lost his control because of A's grave and sudden provocation. and. He suits A. According to the exception 1, Y has not committed murder but merely culpable homicide. Now let's check out example 2. Mr. A was in love with Miss G, sister of Y. Y came to know about it and met with A. Y asked A, Will you marry with my sister? A refuses and also abuses Y and his sister both badly. Y lost his control because of A's grave and sudden provocation. And he suits A but his aim failed and killed Z, neither intended nor knowing himself to be likely to kill Z, who was passing through. According to this exception 1, why has not committed murder but merely culpable homicide? Now let's check out example 3. Mr. A was in love with Miss G, who is sister of Y. Y came to know about it and met with A. Y asked A, Will you marry with my sister? A refuses and also abuses Y and his sister both badly. Y lost his control because of A's grave and sudden provocation. Y intentionally kills C, A's sister. According to the exception 1, Y has committed murder in as much as the provocation was not given by C and the death of C was not caused by an accident or misfortune in doing an act caused by the provocation. However, there are certain exceptions of exception 1. Let's check out the exceptions of exception 1. Exception first, that the provocation is not sought or voluntarily provoked by the offender as an excuse for killing or doing harm to any person. So, let's check out this exception with an example. Z strikes B, B is by this provocation excited to violent rage. A. A bystander intending to take advantage of B's rage and to cause him to kill Z puts a pistol into B's hand for that purpose. B. Fires pistol on and kills Z. In such a case, B may have committed only culpable homicide but A is guilty of murder. Next, exception 2. Of exception first, that the provocation is not given by anything done in obedience to the law or by a public servant in the lawful exercise of the powers of such public servant. Let's check out this exception with an example. Z lawfully arrested by A. A is excited to sudden and violent passion by the arrest and kills Z. This is murder in as much as the provocation was given by a thing done by public servant in the exercise of his powers. Next, exception third of exception first, 
that the provocation is not given by anything done in the lawful exercise of the right of private defense. Let's check out this provision with an example. A. A robber stops and threatens Z with intention to snatch his valuable property. Z in the exercise of the right of private defense stop A from doing so. A is moved sudden and violent passion in consequence fires his pistol on Z. Z dies. This is murder, inasmuch as the provocation was given by a thing done in the exercise of the right of private defense. By the time I have discussed exception 1 and its three exceptions. Now continue with the main exceptions. That is exception 2. Culpable homicide is not murder if the offender in the exercise in good faith of the right of private defense of person or property exceeds the power given to him by law and causes the death of the person against whom he is exercising such a right of defense without premeditation and without any intention of doing more harm than is necessary for the purpose of such defense. Let's check out this provision with an example. Z attempts to horsewhip A not in such a manner as to cause grievous hurt to A. A draws out a pistol. However, Z persists in the assault. A believing in good faith that he can by no other means prevent himself from being horsewhipped suits Z dead. In such a case, A has not committed murder but only culpable homicide. Next, exception 3. Culpable homicide is not murder if it is committed without premeditation in a sudden fight in the heat of passion upon a sudden quarrel and without the offender having taken undue advantage or acted in a cruel or unusual manner. Let's check out this provision with an example. A and B both were a stranger to each other, were traveling on a passenger train. The train was highly crowded. Because of a seat to seat first, A and B became hostile to each other and started fighting. In this sudden fight that started in the heat of passion, A pushed B aggressively. B fell down on a pointed iron rod that pierced into his body causing immediate death. In such a case, B's death was a misfortune, as A had neither knowledge nor intention. Therefore, it is merely a culpable homicide. Note, in such a case, it is immaterial which party offers the provocation or commits the first assault. Next, exception 4. Culpable homicide is not murder when the person whose death is caused being above the age of 18 years suffers death or takes the risk of death with his own consent. Let's understand this provision with an example. A who is a 22 years old man gets excited because of the Z's words and came into a fight ring for boxing. A receives a powerful hit on his head and he died on the spot. In such a case, though Z had instigated but A is an adult person and became ready for the boxing with his own consent. Therefore, Z not committed murder, rather only culpable homicide. Next, exception 5. Culpable homicide is not murder if the offender being a public servant or adding a public servant acting for the advancement of public justice exceeds the powers given to him by law and causes death by doing an act which he in good faith believes to be lawful and necessary for the due discharge of his duty as such public servant and without ill will towards the person whose death is caused. It means if a person who is a public servant in good faith causes death of a person without any intention and knowledge while discharging his duty, it is not amount to murder. So, this is all about the culpable homicide, not murder.